Welcome to this edition of the Designs for Health audio science article. When you hear the term traditional Chinese medicine, or TCM for short, do you have visions of an old-fashioned apothecary shop whose shelves are lined with a dizzying array of potions and powders with mystifying names? The tinctures, pills, salves, and teas that are most often utilized in traditional Chinese medicine come from a host of plants, both the aerial and underground parts, and plant constituents, including the roots, bark, leaves, fruit, and more. Some of the go-to remedies in TCM have been used for thousands of years. Some are intended for specific conditions such as headaches, improving digestive function, supporting fertility, or clearing the airways for easier breathing. Others are more all-purpose where they support the body's overall state of being. One such general remedy incorporates the herb astragalus, called Wang Qi in TCM formulas. Historically, it has been used for strengthening the qi, our body's life force, so it was typically employed in conditions related to general weaknesses in the body, such as fatigue, anemia, poor appetite, cardiovascular disease, and other conditions associated with insufficient qi. It has been especially instrumental for supporting kidney and urinary tract health. As a strengthener of qi, think of astragalus as an herb that might rekindle the fire in you, when you feel tired, weak, run down, or when your overall vitality is flagging. Presently, astragalus is used for bolstering the immune system, often in combination with ginseng and echinacea. This general strengthening of immune function, now backed up by modern research, is likely why this herb was believed to boost the life force and potentially make people more resistant to common ailments, such as the common cold and influenza. One of the ways astragalus supports the immune system is by stimulating the production of macrophages. The etiology of the word macrophage is derived from Greek for big eater. If you remember the 1980s arcade game Pac-Man, think of our macrophages like little Pac-Man. Only instead of gobbling up pellets on the screen, macrophages gobble up harmful pathogens within our body. Macrophages are one of the immune system's first lines of defense. Astragalus also supports more specific components of the immune system, such as interleukin-2, natural killer cells, and other lymphocytes. Additionally, astragalus has been known to increase production of white blood cells in patients with leukopenia, a condition in which the blood contains reduced levels of leukocytes, or white blood cells. An animal study showed that astragalus administration restored the immune function of aged mice to that of younger ones. If future research confirms a similar effect in humans, then astragalus may be beneficial for older adults and others with compromised or lowered immune function. There are nearly 2,000 astragalus species. The species most commonly used in TCM is native to Northeast Asia and grows extensively throughout China, Korea, Tibet, and Mongolia. The plant is a perennial and grows up to 36 inches tall. The medicinally useful part of the plant is its root. A common way to use astragalus is for the roots to be dried and powdered and taken either in capsule form or as a tea, often in combination with ginseng and echinacea. The herb's beneficial pharmacological effects may be due to its phytochemical components, which include a host of saponins, polysaccharides, and flavonoids. Astragalus root contains 20 trace minerals, including chromium, cobalt, copper, selenium, and molybdenum in addition to relatively high concentrations of manganese, zinc, and rubidium. Aside from an overall immune system boost, astragalus was traditionally used to support urinary tract health. Studies have shown the herb to reduce the proliferation of pathogenic bacteria in human bladder cells, and to increase the production of signaling mo molecules that are involved in fighting infections. Astragalus has an impressive safety record. No toxicity or adverse effects have been noted even when employed at relatively high doses. However, it may interfere with certain medications, so as always, consult your healthcare practitioner if you are interested in astragalus and want to learn more. Thanks for listening. For more excellent educational content, be sure to visit designsforhealth.com.